it's Balaka time, motherfuckers, and today I'm bringing you guys a 2v2 from Company of Heroes 1. Praise Company of Heroes 1, and it's really fast loading and it's smooth engine because Company of Heroes 2 can't seem to have this kind of stuff. Lol, destroying them Vickers for uh, pop cap reasons, top kick. Of course, it's on Rails the Metal <laughs> map on Company of Heroes 2 remade from Company of Heroes 1. Uh, here we have a Whiskey Hotel. It would have been funny if this guy was Whiskey a Go-Go. That'd be funny. But here is, if Young Metro don't trust, I'ma shoot ya. Okay. Okay, brah. We have two PE here, and apparently, I don't know, these guys said that these guys were good PE players, but I don't take a look at leaderboards and shit like this, because I don't really give a fuck. But a lot of people complain because they don't give a fuck, but yeah. So we have uh, Kapatoa, Kapata, whatever, and also we have over here Zarko. And of course, they're going to always go all the way up here and capture the few... Oh, you could... Oh, he's capping something. He's capping something. Okay. I forgot this is a Company of Heroes 2 where I could like click this and it'll switch over, but he's capping. The flag's going. So we see um, <coughs> the truck moving out. What did he get here? Um, he got two infantry section and he got an MG. Oh, yeah, this is an MG. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be weird. This is going to be weird. But at least I know the map, though. <clears throat> so the American guy moved his engineers up, captured that fuel. There's fuel everywhere and all the ammunition points and all that. Glorious G43 singing. Infantry section are going to get into cover, but it looks like he's going to get into the building here. Here we do have the Schwimmwagen, which is super gay. Gay-ass car. I think he's going to use it to push them out of cover so they can take more damage. That's what he's trying to... Man, that gay. Look at that gay. Holy shit. Homosexuality. Wow. Next level of skill right there. <laughs> Next level of fucking skill. Mortar pick going to be produced, which is going to be really good, which is going to allow him to push into here and punish him when he gets into that building. So three Panzer Grenadiers off the bat, <coughs> which is going to be good. He's going to need that infantry to combat the uh, dual, dual, dual infantry section and put pressure down since he's going to have no MG. He should be able to win this fight. Uh, of course, they are in heavy cover, this guy. Yeah, he's just going to force them to retreat. Of course, he was waiting for his truck to set up. He's building a lieutenant now, which will get a combat bonus. Does see the mortar pit. Oh, the good stuff. So up here in the north, we do have some Rafflemen ready. And a glorious Jeep. Jeep is just going to poke. Praise the Jeep. Fucking shitty-ass Jeep. Of course, the the Cat and Cry are going to be capping up. All that glorious stuff. Jeep isn't going to be able to do much, but it's really great at harass and poking. But we, he is going to get trying to get inside this building here to avoid dying to the stupid Jeep. So overall, the prepare did really push up, which is either going to help him or really hurt him here. But I think it's going to help him more because it is PE. Um, what is this guy up to? I just want to see him. What, what is what is he up to? Okay, okay there we go. I kind of lagged and froze and cut out. Okay. Okay, so what is he building? Right now he is building his Kampfgruppe company, maybe getting a half-track, probably going to get some... Yeah, half-track. Half-track wouldn't be would be really good at this point. So his butt buddy, going to push into some riflemen over here. He's going to probably have to retreat again, both of them opening up with four grenadiers and upgrading with the G43 singing. And there goes the Jeep. Captain Craig going to back away, try to decap that, but too gay. Need to cap up the rest of the munitions, brah. And of course, a little double team here. Get some nice heavy cover. Glorious cup of fears blobbing. You know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> yeah, but overall, it's nice that the player came over here to at least push and support. Get a retreat. Um, what are you gonna buy, Zarko? Yeah, I thought I thought he was gonna do that and buy the healing for his HQ. From his HQ. So we already have the Panzer Command coming up over here by his glorious butt buddy. Um, he's actually bought... Oh, bought a mortar half-track. Mmm. Mmm. I love me my mortar half-track. Probably going to use incendiary on this and uh, try to push it out and um, push this way. I'm surprised I don't want to cap the VP. Which I thought was really funny. Do have the Rifleman Barracks. Jeep being repaired. Nothing else much happening here. Engineers went up for the cap and some more cap coming off. Kappa Kappa. And lol, double cut and crap. <laughs> trying to cap that shit up. Grenadiers trying to maneuver in here. The infantry section are going to pop off. They're going to get some heavy cover as well. More Grenadiers. Some Grenadiers with G43s. And we do see the mortar half-track coming in. 
A PE mortar half trick is going to be good. Um, your grenadier is going to die, brah. Ouch. He actually used that snipe ability, if you saw, to snipe that car that last anagot. Yeah. That last guy in the squad, which is going to be really nice. Good against the supply cover. Good to use the G43. I do believe the suppression it looked like, because they were just firing really fast. But double rifleman is going to come in through those trees and is going to push them back. And Jeep here going to be really homosexual. <laughs> yeah, the Jeep was going to try and push him out of cover, I think, again. Overall, pretty good. Did go with the mortar half track. I think he was, uh... No, he didn't try to get rid of that. I think he was just doing... Yeah, I was a little bit dead. But just trying to get that indirect fire. And get that glorious... Glorious, glorious, glorious homosexuality. So what is Whiskey up to? Whiskey bought something. Bought a more uh, Lieutenant... Oh, he bought a second truck. Okay, so second truck's gonna come off. Uh, I don't even know where to put it. In my opinion. I don't know, you could attempt to put it here, but it'd be even more risky. You kind of don't want your HQs that close together. But, you know. Zarko take it to the cover. Going to push some of these riflemen back behind the ridge. Jeep kind of going balls deep here. He really wanted to kill that last guy, but was unable to. Um, if he went in there. Actually, maybe could have gone in there and attempted to kill it. Uh, even though these probably would have killed it. Maybe he could have killed it. I don't know. Trying to keep up that munitions. We do have glorious PE armored car. Because, you know, the fucking PE. Because, you know. Look, I mean. This is one thing I truly wish. I wish that in Company Furious 2. They made this armored car the Company Furious 2 armored car. The Company Furious 1 armored car is so superior in damage and kills. And it sounds way fucking better. Mind you. Sounds way fucking better. So we do have the armored cars coming out. We do have a mortar half track here. He did go for the Panzer Support Command, so he could go for a Panzer IV Short Barrel, which is the love of my life. I do love the Panzer IV Short Barrel. <clears throat> it, to me, it is the best tank ever, and if I could just spam it, I probably would. But the only problem with that is you're susceptible to AT because you have to sit down and to do the rapid fire and sticky grenades fuck you in the ass. So I'm not sure. So he's getting his mortar pool now. Uh, not sure if he got... Um, I wish I could see... He didn't get... Oh, I could... Nah, fuck. Well, I, he didn't get bars, but I don't know if he got sticky grenades, because I was going to say sticky grenades are what's going to fuck you over uh, with most PE stuff. Because a lot of your tanks are low health, except the Panther, of course. And there goes the mortar pool. Two infantry section now moving in. <clears throat> There's not much whiskey kind of has. He just has his two infantry section, his mortar, and that's about it. And his lieutenant. So there's really not much forward HQ coming at you. I, man, I forgot about forward HQs in Company Furious 1. The, the gay is so true. But I don't think the mortar reaches that far. And also, I can't see what doctrine he could go. Could go artillery here. Which may not be too half bad to really get rid of this. But now he's just going to back away and uh, replenish and heal. Armored car is just going to do some poking. He had the mortar over here as well. This is a very bad spot. He should retreat. And not waste more of his men. Yeah, just not waste it. Up here in the north is just a decapping war. I think he's trying to booby trap. What is the booby trap? Did he go scorch earth? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't remember. Rifleman holding up over here. Did go for an attack buff. Rifleman holding on over here. There goes an incendiary grenade. I like how this guy just lumped out of the fucking... <laughs> just lumped out of it. Why is the rifleman going to retreat? So again, going for those upgrades... I wish I could actually see them, but I can't because fuck life and fuck replays in Cup of Fears 1, but it's way better than Cup of Fears 2. Grenadiers, a little bit overextending here. A uh, nice incendiary. <coughs> kind of pushing them away. Looks like we do see a Bren here, which I think is really retarded, but then I think it's actually kind of cool. Just because they have Piats. It's like a little, it's like a really gay drive by. Th to, me, to me, this is like Red Orchestra 1. With the <laughs> with the fucking bread carrying everyone piling in, and then yeah, then that one map. I don't, no one knows what map I'm talking about, but it's really funny. Oh, he actually got a light AT. Is a light AT half track really worth it? You know, you know, this is my question because I, I, it's very weak. It does some okay damage. It got some trench. It has like some special abilities, but I don't know how worth it it is. I mean, personally, I like the Panzer IV. 
Short barrel. I don't know why he didn't get it. Maybe it's just not meta enough, or it's just really bad, and I just really like it. But the, it, this can be a utility, but I don't know how good it is. But then again, this the sniping it's doing is really fucking good. While the Panzer IV short barrel kind of has to go balls deep in there and then take all that damage. So maybe that's why. Ooh. Ooh. That AP round. Holy shit. He actually wasted AP round just to fucking try and kill that. That's interesting. Uh, was something trying to be built here? Me no understand, though. So yeah, Trio Shatter, double bread now. This is really, is he really going truly for drive-by? Like, is this epic troll? I want to know, Whiskey Hotel. I mean, you could have been buying better things than two brands with two uh, sappers and stuff, but. So at the base here, we do see a martyr coming out. Uh, it just reminds me of the PE campaign where you have the Hell's Highway with the martyrs and just all the rape and Ah. Go. As shown here, this is why I said the tactic wasn't that great. Well, well, at least we could thank Company Fears one that when your shit die, you know, explodes, your troops don't fucking die with it. Ooh, a Greyhound. Can you kill the martyr? That's the true question in life. And no, you cannot. Yep, just way too much infantry. The Bren was one hell of a dumb idea. I think it was a troll idea. But yeah. Well, the armored car died, but the martyr still lived. So I think it was worth it. And there just happened to be a shit ton of infantry there. So yeah. And I think you lost one engineer squad to boot. So not a great idea overall. Uh, I mean, what what could the Brit do here? I mean, first off, a Vickers wouldn't be too half bad. A Vickers right here to cover this approach wouldn't be bad at all. Because we have to remember Company Fears 1 is all about that emplacement spam for Brits. And that was actually a really nice strafing run. So this guy did go American. The Yeah, he went American. Went uh, the right with the recon. <clears throat> Oh, is he using direct ground? Man, that sucks, Dick. Martyr OP. Please nerf. I feel like this... I mean, I'm trying to think of what this Brit guy can do at the moment. That would actually be useful for him. I mean... I mean, all he could do is purchase a little... Maybe, instead of going the Brent's could have bought more infantry section. Bought one Royal Engineer. Or something. Gone Piat's. Uh, put in. Do they actually have droppable? Do they actually have ATs that you could call off? I don't fucking remember. Whew, and I can't look because, yeah, so I don't think so. All you got is the AT emplacement. I mean, technically, he probably could have pushed into here and had his ally come from here. He could have had an MG here, AT, an MG, and then a mortar and kind of lock this down and have infantry kind of circling around to repel different kind of stuff. He could do something like this. And he actually got another infantry from the triage, which he probably already lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he got another one. Okay, so he has three now. Of course, though, the Brits still have this VP, which is quite shameful. Shameful, Jishbei. Because Axes, even though they're, they're fighting and they have the better... Uh, combat units, I do believe that they should get a Ketten Krat and continue decapping this. Because it's pretty bad for them at the moment. Because they're just kind of waiting around, circle jerking, they're trying to heal other crap. Uh, let's see what this guy's up to. So he did go Hetzer. Did go Tank Destroyer. Love my Jag Tiger or Jag Tiger, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I, I, don't, I like the Hetzers in this game, but then I don't. Just because it's a fixed gun and it's kind of derp. We do have another Greyhound, which I think is a little bit wasted. I mean, how much is a Greyhound? I can't even fucking see. I was going to say was you could probably just save it for a Sherman or an M10, something fast. And there goes the Panzer Grenadier squad trying to check. Wow, it's actually going to live? No? This is Cup of Fears 1. Okay. Yeah, it did live. Martyr, way too overextended here. Too bad these riflemen don't have an anti-tank rifle grenade. <laughs> you know what's funny? If they did, this tank would be fucking dead. <laughs> uh, it'd be so dead. 
so fucking dead. Um, but yeah. So, AT, getting some eight, uh, defensive bonuses. Because it is quite weak. Again, he's just using this as an outpost. He actually has got a nice little Shrek here for any kind of armor. It looks like we are going to see the armor truck coming out. I never liked the way this truck looked. It always bothered me. It always made me angry. So where do you put the support truck? Where is it on the map? Oh, he put the support one over here. Oh, probably to lock down the the fuel for the, yeah, the extra fuel. So allies right now do some heavy map controls. These guys are probably the best PE players. Then they would be fucking deep. Like, they have the... The better of the army right now, I do believe. But they are failing at map control. Hella map control here. I mean, if this other guy really wanted to, he could technically... Um, I thought there's a building over here. Well, he could use the shack as the fucking forward HQ. Yeah, he is... The, this other guy, this uh, Zarko... Has the majority of it. But Zarko, they really need to take... If they want to take this, then they might as well take this and just skirmish the left for that munitions. Because I feel like this is farther away to this. And so if you don't want to split off that much. But I has a considerable infantry. He does have the... The captain for the defensive bonus. We do see here the medic station. So each one of them actually got a mortar half track. Scout car coming in to decap, but it looks like the Greyhound's gonna try and kill it. Martyr misses. Gonna have to back away with all that infantry. And where is all of Zarko's infantry? Did he just. I don't know. I feel like he had a huge blob and then he just retreated to all Brit shit. I'd retreat your. Ooh, we have some uh, running automatic rifles complete. And there it, go there it goes. Uh, how did it die? Did it get killed by the. Well, there's nothing else. I don't know if this eight. T the AT didn't kill it, so it must have been the Piats that killed it. Otherwise, there's no explanation. There's no other AT, so okay, and just basic fire. Smarter kind of wasted, though he does have this light AT over here. Scout car was killed by the Greyhound because was not paying attention. And, and, and I believe, you know, seeing this already, it kind of makes me sad because while the Axis had the upper hand at the beginning, they, they're kind of just falling off because they, they don't... That... Dude. Cap. You guys are just huddled around here as if it's like the last bastion of defense and it's a mission and you have to wait. You really have to go in there and fuck her right in the pussy. You have to go go and cap up that left. You're just being outcapped. You don't get enough munitions and blah, 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 blah. I mean, what? So this American guy is getting 63 munitions. And this guy's getting 21. Getting fucking 21. I mean, look. Two munitions points that are right here. Where is this over here? Where's your kitten crab? Buy one. Look how much manpower you have. How much... Wait, who am I looking at? I'm looking at uh, the Zarko guy. Four Grenadiers. No fuel. Why isn't he not buying... Wh what could he buy right now? Right now he could buy another Martyr. He could buy some more Panzer Grenadiers. He could buy more upgrades for the Panzer Grenadiers to make them great again. And also, he could choose a fucking Doctrine if he hasn't chosen one already, which I have no idea if he has. Uh, because I can't really click on this and see. But a Doctrine could help. What would I go? Oh, he's actually getting the upgrade now. Are you going Panzer IV? Like, this is a bad time to go Panzer IV. And then you have these two guys who go balls deep here, and they're just such at risk of dying from overextending without any support. And you know there's no support, and then it's just kind of stupid at that point. I mean, the enemy's fucking cap this, and you won't cap it. I know he doesn't have... Uh, I mean, he has Comfort Group and Company. I think that's the one. Yeah, that was the one that have the capping stuff. Buy a fucking Kettencrad. Do you guys not know how to cap properly? Oh, he actually went Hummel. Ooh. I love Hummels. Increased squad sizes. So we actually finally got that. And of course, now we're going to see some Brens. Piots. Again, that captain with the defensive bonus. Going to use the Lieutenant's ability, I believe. Or the captain's one of the two. I, I have no idea. And again, they're just not going to win. I want to see the glorious Hummel. I miss this fucking... This this great artillery piece. This is... Like... <laughs> I believe this is the greatest German artillery ever. Because it's pretty much the only one that the Germans... 
I feel like ever got that was worth anything. I mean, the Stukas and the Nebelwerfers were great, but the Hummel was just that direct artillery. You know, it wasn't splash damage, burn, incinerate, stuff like that. I love the Hummel. The Hummel's my jam. Praise the Hummel. Praise it in all eternity. But it's good that he did go Hummel because then he could literally pressure the shit out of this with constant Hummel strikes. But he has to time it perfectly, though. Nice grenade that caused an instant retreat. Gotta try and decap. Again, need one of you dickbags need to get a Kubel just to cap up so your infantry can do stuff. Because it, it's becoming pretty pathetic at this point. Of course, gonna take some cover here. Glorious Hummel. I, I just like watching this. I just like how the barrel turns red. Just love that. Good. That's where you wanted to fire. I, I want. Come on. Right here. Ooh. Where are you retreating to? There goes the medical. Ah, oh, they're retreating to his base because it's the next retreat point. <clears throat> Alright. Dope. Glorious Hummel. Praise the Hummel. Praise it in all eternity. Praise it. So we do have a gray on here with a little bit of a damage engine. Not going to win this. Again, Kubel. Kubel. Uh, Ketten Crad. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Fuck it right in the pussy. Ooh, we have a priest here. And we have a Crimal Command Tank. So you need to buy the Crimal Command Tank to actually get the Sherman Firefly. But we have Glorious Priest here. Um, hopefully he doesn't molest children. But if I had to choose, I think priests are technically better than Hummels. Because priests are a little bit faster. Um, make another CCS. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the lingo. But I think Priest of Bear, just because the Creeping Barrage ability is really good, the Overwatch ability is also good. And I'm not sure if the range on the Hummel is superior. I think the Hummel could do more damage, but the Creeping Barrage is pretty good, too. Oh, he's moving his HQ back a little bit. I think it was, like, right there. Hummel, where are you firing at? Oh, he's firing over here? Yeah. I also like the sound of the priest, too. If I was the priest, I would be firing into this and getting rid of this, which will allow you to push up more. Oh my god, the Russian is lagging, and he drops. LOL! LOLs! So that's pretty much a little bit of the GG there. This guy did drop. Don't know why he did drop. Um, oh, he has like no infantry anymore. Ah, okay, if that's the reason why I dropped, then okay. Which kind of feels bad, man. Because truly, I feel like... Um, again, capping would have been best. Not huddling around this thing. Even... Where's the thing? Huddling around this thing. Even though it was smart, it's nice. Because you're fighting around it. But again, again the capping... Um, all that stuff. Double PE, I think, can be brutal. Just because you don't have that flexible artillery. Like Nebelwerfers and other stuff to really take down HQs. And also MGs. Which would really help. Mainly we're going to be paying attention to Zarko here. Because it looks like he is going to fight it out. Now you technically still check... You could, you could fucking win. Uh, if you wanted to. He still has three Panzer Grenadiers. And a mortar half track, but it's all the way back here because you know he still has the Hummel. Wow, really Hummel all the way that far. Never doubt the AI. Again, Zarko has a lot of manpower. He may call off another Hummel. I don't think it would be wise to call off another Hummel. I believe he needs more infantry. Um, more than ever. Because that's right now what's happening, is that they need more anti-infantry. Because that's pretty much all they're using, is anti-infantry and some priests. Haven't seen a Sherman, haven't seen, you know, any kind of heavy tank at all. Except the M8. And M8's not a heavy tank at all. I mean, we finally see a Sherman Firefly here, but... Can't kill infantry worth a shit. 
So we really need some anti-infantry shit in this crap. That fucking AT though. I lolled. I lolled. J just sit there and die. I mean, nigga, nothing's gonna happen of this AT. I don't know why you grabbed it in the first place. I'm gonna back up, uh, back up over here. See the mortar half track doing its thing. Can you leave? Yeah, pretty much at this point. I wonder if he's gonna be a huge prick and try and fight it. I, I don't know if he really quit or he raged or whatever, what have you. But yeah, he's gonna die. Wow, lucky as fuck. And there goes the Panther Battle Group. So he's pretty much going to wait for the Panther Battle Group. Um, if I was this guy, I don't know. I mean, like, the AI could help. Because the AI could be really annoying. Because the AI just cheats, pretty much. It could be really fucking annoying. And you can win. Um, but I don't know. I believe maybe the AI would be a little bit better than his ally. Because his ally was pretty retarded. Well, not pretty retarded. But, but on the scale of retardation. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is AI. Looks like some Arnie's gonna come down here. So, you know, where did this Brit Brit guy go? This is Whiskey Hotel. Oh, yeah, he went Arnie. Okay, yeah. So, he actually doesn't have enough munitions, but he's dropping some airborne behind here. Top keck. Oh, the poor, poor Hummel. No, the poor Hummel. Lol, dropping in right on his corpse. Rip Hummel. That grenade, though. Oh, he went for a little anti-tank grenade. Top kick. Top fucking kick. And so some steamrolling here is going to happen. And all of that over here. Again, the M8's going to come down. Rifleman capping up. And we do have double panther. I love the way these panther look. They look so dope. Knock it out to the Sherman Firefly. Now they pretty much have no armor. Uh, this panther's going to have to be careful a little bit. Going for defensive bonuses as well. Lol. This is not the strength of STGs and Company Furos. And he pretty much has no infantry to show for it, so it's pretty much GG at this point. I'm actually going to go a little bit faster because some shit is kind of retarded. Some artillery coming down on these Panthers, but uh, nothing's really going to come of it because they're Panthers. And uh, ooh, that's some. Ooh, damage engine. Rip. Rip that damage. Rip. But yeah, the guy left is pretty much GG, which kind of sucks because I would like to see it fought out more. But, you know, shit happens and then you die as Company Furious 1. Though, are these guys technically the best PE? No, they're not. I don't think so. No, they're definitely not. Zarko, take a screenshot. I thought so. I'm lost. Cheaters equal never win. So what do they cheat with? I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't understand. Uh, unless someone could... Unless someone can tell me what kind of cheating happened throughout this replay that I didn't notice. Uh, that'd be great, but otherwise I really don't know how he cheated. Um, no, I don't see any map hack. Oh, trying to repair that fucking Hummel. That fucking... Dude, that's so top kick. So top kick, getting that Berg Tiger to get that Hummel. He has double priest. Remember, this is time six. Trying to fast forward through the rest of this here. And this is nothing yet, but access down to 100 points. So this guy did finally get Sector Artillery, but there's no munitions for it. Sector Artillery and Company Furious 1 is pretty damn good. Lol, fucking Martyr. Fucking AI. And Mortar Half-Track dying. Took glorious Brits as per usual. Ooh, double Sherman Firefly here. Oh, no, triple. Damn, he had enough fuel to buy that. After losing one. Well, yeah, they have pretty much the major majority of the map for all of the fucking time, so. Panther with the double. Poor bird tiger. Dude. Brah. Brah. Why did you why did why'd you do this? And now you're humble. I get pretty much sure he's giving up. He's just being a huge cunt right now. Alright, I'll fast forward through the rest of this. So overall, GG, as I said, I'm gonna repeat myself. If they would have capped more. 
and focused more on anti-infantry, I think they would have won. Hummel idea was pretty good, and of course the other guy not uh, rage quitting or whatever. Uh, Panzer IV short barrel maybe could have been a little bit more useful. I think, since they really didn't get any kind of late armor yet, and so I think it had a chance to be quite useful, or even getting more armored cars or something like that, but the Greyhound is a little pain in the ass. So yeah. Uh, th th that's kind of my opinion. Overall, though, the Brit player, I think, played fairly well, though. I think he could have gotten... Ooh! Uh, oh, it's the Egg Panther. Poor Egg Panther. <laughs> uh, um, but the Brit player, I mean, they won, so whatever, but the, the Priest was a good idea just because of the guy using this. Needed Artie to get rid of it. Maybe could have played more of a defensive, not a defensive role here, but a more supporting role, like an AT or a Vickers, just to have infantry not completely waddle up to you or whatever. But he did he did need more infantry section, I think, at the beginning, but he did okay. But the, uh, the, but the PE just kind of sta just stayed here and just circle jerked around uh, pretty much. The American guy, I don't know. I mean, again, I think the Greyhound spam was really stupid. Should have gone Tank Battalion, had well, all these ATs here. <laughs> all these ATs here. I think that, um, I don't know. Didn't go much airborne. Just went rifleman spam. Probably would have been better if he went infantry company or uh, would have gone Pershing to get some kind of, you know, late game heavy tank or something and still gone bars because he really didn't need, um, really didn't need airborne. I mean, I think he used a strafing run a couple times, didn't use the bombing run at all, and even though he dropped down ATs, he built the mortar pool, so he was spending uh, M8 Greyhounds, he could have literally just bought fucking ATs at the mortar pool, and he could have gone a completely different doctrine, which if the a if the Axis played any better, it would have definitely helped. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.